Hey, what's up guys? KSK here. Welcome back to this video. This is the first look at Ubuntu 21.10 beta, which is going to bring a tons of new features, improvements to the user interface and performance. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about everything about Ubuntu's upcoming new release. By the time of recording this video, I'm running the data build of Ubuntu 21.10, so whatever the features that I will be showing you in a moment will be included or upgraded or even removed in the stable release. So what's new in Ubuntu 21.10? Well, if you're coming from Ubuntu 2004 LTS, you will find a major difference in terms of visual improvements. Now, let's start with the GNOME desktop environment. Finally, the anticipation comes to an end. Ubuntu 2110 comes with the GNOME 40 as a default desktop, which brings a plenty of changes to the GNOME shell and the new design along with a brand new gestures that improve the user workflow. You know, unlike other GNOME 40 distros, the Ubuntu team has added a dock that is present on the left and works better with horizontal workspaces and app launcher. Well, this kind of looks neat, but instead the dock on the left, it would be a much better when it shifts to the bottom that indeed adopts the horizontal workflow. With GNOME 40, the user interface may look completely different compared to the uh, previous versions. It now introduces a brand new workspaces which are aligned horizontally. By pressing the super key on the keyboard, it takes you to an overview of workspaces where you get to see all of the running applications that belong to each workspace. You can create as many workspaces as you want based on the demand of your workflow. No, by pressing the app grid icon takes you to the all new app launcher where you get to see all of the installed applications. The app launcher is combined with applications and shows the overview of all workspaces. Now this way you can quickly look for any application and also you can jump into any workspace using the workspaces thumbnails on the top. Now inside settings, under the appearance section, you might see a three options to customize the theme, the fully light, the fully dark, and the standard theme mixed with the dark header and light widgets. Well, this is going to be changed on Ubuntu 21.10. The Ubuntu community has decided to bring a major theme improvement to the system. With Ubuntu 21.10, it will only use a fully light or dark versions of the Yaru theme. Now, according to some sources, the fully light or dark themes aren't the only visual change coming to Ubuntu 21.10. The Yaru developers have been told to prepare to remove or replace a colored accent throughout the theme. Now this is part of a wider Ubuntu rebranding effort currently in the works. Now, according to some users, the Ubuntu 21.10 may feature a redesigned installer menu that is simple and elegant. The installer simplifies the easiest way to install or repair Ubuntu on any PC or laptop. Now, along with that, the all-new installer has been completely written using a Dart programming language, which sounds interesting. Now, as of now, the beta release doesn't seem to have the new design, and it would be nice if we get to see this added in the stable release on time.
The development build doesn't yet include a kernel Fidat 13, but it's been said that the Ubuntu 2110 stable release might ship with the kernel Fidat 14. The all new kernel Fidat 14 brings a big changes for AMD GPU hardware and also comes with the new and updated drivers that supports a more hardware devices, improved file systems, and tooling updates. Now keep in mind, these are not exciting features to an end user unless if you are having a specific hardware in your computer to take an advantage of this kernel. Now, as of now, the beta version of Ubuntu 21.10 is getting tested with kernel 5.11. With Ubuntu 21.10, the main archive is going to use a ZSDD compression. ZSDD is a lossless data compression algorithm designed to be used in real-time compression scenarios which can unpack the packages during Ubuntu install faster than the current compression tools XZ and ZZip. Now, This indeed is going to speed up the installation process of Ubuntu by some percent compared to the previous release. And these are some of the uh, brand new features that I have noticed in this build. I hope when they roll out the stable release, we will get to see a more features and improvements. Now, Ubuntu 21.10 is going to have a support for 9 months. And lastly, Ubuntu 21.10 is going to be released in October 2021. And that's pretty much it guys. I hope you like this video. If you do, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to see more videos like this. And get notified by hitting the bell icon. Thanks for watching this video. It's been KSK Ryle. I'll catch you in my next video.